last night on our outreach, uh, we went to Dinky Town. Uh, we were worshiping on the corner. Um, it was great. The Holy Spirit came. Um, I, I, after about 15 minutes of, of worship on the street, I really started to feel filled up. And um, I started to look around for where God might lead us. And I noticed these two young men came up. And they noticed the worshiping and they got a little uh, intimidated. And they turned around and walked away. Immediately, the Lord told me to go and seek them out um, and get them and tell them not to be afraid. So uh, I beelined for them and, and said, hey, hey, don't be afraid. Uh, we're just here worshiping God and um, you're welcome to join us. Uh, we're just uh, worshiping. And I asked them if they had ever done anything like that, if they had ever worshiped God before or um, sung to Him. And uh, they said, yeah, we, we worship and pray every day. And uh, they said they were Muslim. And I said, oh, that's cool, I'm a Christian. And uh, we got to talking about each other's uh, um, <clears throat> different sides. And they said they believed in Jesus, but they did not uh, believe he was the Messiah, but that he was just a prophet. Um, and me and my son got to uh, share the gospel with him and let him know that uh, he actually raised him from the dead and he was the Messiah. And that uh, for 40 days he came and showed everyone that he was alive and risen from the dead. And that there were even still doubters then and he had to show them uh, his wounds and as uh, Thomas would uh, would doubt I told that story and and uh, we spent 30 minutes with these guys uh, sharing the love of Christ with them and it was so amazing because they were so receptive um, and in fact we even um, gave them a Bible because they were so interested in knowing more about it and I asked them if they'd like to read Matthew and they said they did and, I, and then I asked them if they'd like to go have coffee sometime and talk more and they said they did and so I got their emails and uh, we're going to start communicating. Uh, my son preached the gospel, told him that uh, Jesus loves him and died on the cross for him and all their sins are clean and he's a perfect man and he did such a great job um, and uh, we we totally had a really great connection and um, just so, so grateful to be a part of this Love Twin so Cities and uh, there's big things moving in the city I can tell right now.